Hello my planner pals and welcome back and if you're new here then thank you for joining me and giving me a try. My name is Di, I am here at Creative Karma Design and today we've got a spread, vertical spread in my catch-all planner and it kind of morphs into a journal and memory keeping and this week I was supposed to do a spread for Rainbow Bridge and Dog Day um, and use the pets book but here's the thing, this week as I was sorting through my office stuff and all of the stuff that I packed away to kind of redo my craft room and as I'm moving back in, which yes, I am kind of in my new space, as I was moving back in, I've been looking at a lot of the stuff and honestly, I am just too emotionally drained from looking at dog photos of dogs that have passed away. So I'm, I'm skipping that. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that. So what we're going to do instead, as I've been bringing things back in, I've been noticing like a lot of, I'm going to call them loose, loose kind of open packages of stickers. And the one that kind of jumped out to me for this spread were these. So these, if you're not sure, are little 3D stickers. You can see there they've got like, um, like 3D adhesive on them. And I do have a video on how to make these regular stickers, and I will link that here. But I've just taken them apart, and I'm going to add them to this spread. And we'll see if I want to use them all. But these were the, I think I've got five. One, two, six. I've got six. No, I've got five. That's the same one. I've got five. So we'll see if I want to use them all or if I want to just use a couple. But I was thinking of this one kind of being here and coming out of the, the edge of the page. And these are on cardstock. I don't know if you can see that they're kind of thicker cardstock. Now, there's a little fly in here that's driving me insane. Now, here's the deal. When I'm doing these and I'm using the thicker stickers, the thicker cardstock type stickers I like to do it on the last week of the month because then I can kind of go on to the next month and the next kind of first pages of the month and there's a little bit of cushion from my monthly and my currently page so that I'm not kind of going to go over the edge of the stickers so yeah that's a little hot tip for you all right so that's everybody together so I'm thinking something along those lines. This one's going to go here. He's going to come out of here. He's going to come from the edge of the page and then into the week or maybe there. Let me put a little box there. And then I'm going to put a box here and then he's going to come out from the box if that makes sense. But I was thinking, okay, bear with me. Do I want him like this kind of as he is there or do I want to layer two and have them both on the branch kind of thing or do I put that one there and then put this one on a different page later on because he can just be kind of lazing on the edge of a box green box or something kind of that green no he could just be lazing on the edge of a box That fly is annoying the crap out of me. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that one. All right, so I'm not sure. So let's just move on. So that's kind of where I want them. I don't think I need that one. I think I'm going to be happy with just that. I'm going to be happy with just that one. I'm going to be happy with just that one. This is the one that I'm... No, I'm fine with that. All right, I think we're good. Because I think all of those could work. I want them to work... Kind of on their own, if that makes sense. Like I could put them like, you know, there. So that you kind of imagine that the other bit is on the other side of the sticker. The underside here, like the underside arms are on the other side of the sticker. But yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. I need to think about green, more green. 
What do I have that's green? What book do I have that's green? All right, I'm going to see what book I have that's green. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, I've got a couple of boxes. A couple of boxes? No, I've got a couple of books. I picked up this one because it has some green checklists and also a couple of little green bits and bobs. And it had this in it, this quote, which I kind of thought kind of went there. It just means I might need to move him along a bit. Okay, that goes there. The other thing was I could move him there and put it there. But that wouldn't mean moving everything else. And I was like, mm, not sure I want to do that. So I kind of feel that he needs to go up there. So that might go there. The other thing that I found was in the teacher book were these boxes these and I'm not interested in these really maybe I don't know um, but these these little ones with a little bit of black like a dark black in them because these are kind of dark brown black so yeah I picked those up and I've got a couple of others off to the side because <laughs> let's bring in everything so I might start in with that quote because if I'm oh oh oh, oh no 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 so if I'm going to bring it in, it needs to be on the side here. I kind of want him there. Let's get rid of that little bit there. Okay. And then we'll come in that little bit with a little bit of white pen. Just in a couple of areas, just to get rid of the bit underneath the, the quote. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And where is my Tombow? Okay, there we go. I feel like I just spent half of my life looking for products on my table. And if you haven't seen these, it's a scraper tool, and I get I got this from Dollar Tree. Um, but yeah, just a little scraper tool. And then he will go there and he will go there. So what do I want box wise? Do I want a box here? Maybe. I feel like if I was going to put one of those in, it would need to be like there. So that it's covering that little apple bit. Hmm. Okay, the other thing that I need is the new moon on the 27th and a birthday box on the 25th. Do I want a box here? If I did, what colour would it be? Yes. I'm just going to use white out for this, just so that I don't see the the line underneath it, because it will annoy me. I'm that extra. I am that extra. That's not straight, but I'm going to have to let that go. Okay, that's going there. Tombow. What I need is a spare sheet of paper, scratch paper, to go underneath there. So I'm going to use an envelope. Was literally just from my recycle pile, and that's going to go in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I love it. I love it. I also might need to bring in some of this red here, there, and everywhere. I definitely want to bring in the green. I want to bring in the dark brown and then this tan. I know I've got a little bit of blue there, but I might just let that go. If you believe that, you'll believe anything. I'm trying to make sure that they're covered in adhesive so that nothing sticks up because they are kind of thicker. They are thicker. Okay. I'll just make sure that that's cut off there and then he's kind of flying down into the week. So I'm going to put a green box here. Okay, so it's this one. Oh, of course I've used the square one. Okay, that's going there. And then he will be there, and I might put a brown box there, and then a little one there. Mm. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to have to decide because do I want to bring in another shade of brown? If you're not sure, don't put it down. I want to put the other one, the darker one, over here. That's why I was kind of hesitant. Hesitant. That's going to go there. I want him to come straight out of there. Literally like, duh. So I do these spreads just to show you that these are like Dollar Tree little stickers. You don't have to use Happy Planner things, you know? You can find some cute stickers like these. Now I want to put them. I want to put them on there. Mm. Yeah, if you can find cute stickers like these, then don't be afraid of just finding some coordinating boxes and using them. in your spreads because that's sometimes all you need is just some coordinating boxes, some cute stickers, and you're golden. Your spread's making itself. Right? I mean that already. It's pretty much done. It's pretty much done. Okay. And do I want to put that one there? Yes, I do. Or a green one. Or a green one. I feel like that green and that green are going to be too close. Yeah, they are. I knew it. I wish I had um, a square one of these, but I don't. So we're going to have to go with that. I know I said I was going to bring in those other ones from the teacher book, but clearly I probably am not. That's going there. Is that straight? Not really, but we're going to have to go with it because I don't think it's going to come off the page now. Okay. I might have to bring in some of the leaves. I have got a couple of leaves. Like maybe there. Oh. Mm. We'll see. We'll see. We'll hold off on that for now. That one's. This is where I check. Okay, everybody else is down. It's just this one. All right. 
and I feel like he needs to go kind of up here somewhere or maybe a box here I need to bring some of this color over here so that's why I'm putting this one here because I put that one there mm. I might have to change that one I know I just think that's a better fit okay yes and then this one green one somewhere up here and again I think it'll be a big one Okay, so here's one of the things. I don't like the fact that that is big, big, big. So it might have to come down here. Hmm. Or I, no. And I don't want to turn that one because I turned that one. Dang it. I might have to go there. And we put a, I don't have a square one. Okay, I don't have a square one. So let's get the scissors and cut this into a square one. Ish. Squarish doesn't have to be perfect. Does not have to be perfect. And if I put it down, where would I want it? Don't want it at the top. Yeah, probably. Because I have nothing at the top on the other days. Okay. And then this bit, I'll just put straight onto the top there. Trying to get it straight-ish. Straight-ish. That's actually not, not too bad. That's not too bad. And then this little one might go in here. Maybe that one goes there. Yeah, yeah. I'll take that one off there right now because I want to white out that line. Okay, and then he is going to go there. So let's get some of this, some adhesive. Okay, now I can throw that away and that could go there. Oh. See, that's already super cute. I need something down here. It might be a double box. It might be something this color needs to come in. And I need another thing of this color. That might be there. Yes. There might be a little green thing above that at some point. I don't know what yet, but something. And we have a brown one here and then a no a brown one there and a green one here. Do I want another big one? Do I want that? I think I do. I'm going for it. Somebody help. Okay. Wow. I love it. Anybody else already love this? Because I do. I do. I do, friends. I do. Okay. I've got three of those. I've got three of those. I've only got two of those, but I don't have any more. So that's going to have to be that. And I've got three of those. Okay. Those are balanced. All right. So now I'm going to look through the books. Oh, it's not a book at those leaves. I remember now. Do I want to put the leaves in? Maybe. If you are looking to remove adhesive from the back of these stickers, I do recommend getting yourself one of these. This is a, 
adhesive removing eraser thing. I will link these down below, but I did get mine from the Dollar Tree. I have another one somewhere that I found again because I thought I'd lost mine. So I bought one from the Dollar Tree and honestly, it works just as well as the one that I paid like $5 for. So yeah, I might put that there. I have got a couple of others. But I feel like I need, because I've got one there and one there. If I put that one there, I don't want that one there. Maybe he comes out of here. Hmm. I don't want them all on the same page. Okay, maybe I'm just overthinking that. If I bring in other little green bits, it'll be fine. All right, so let's see what else we've got that's green in here. I've got these to-do strips. Maybe. And I'll leave it there. How do I feel about that? No. I want something. I just don't know what it is. Might be there. Put that back in there for a sec. So I need something else now that I've got that one. That's the thing. That's in a different green. I feel like I want I don't I want that there, but I also want his butt floating. I don't know. I might go there and I might move that over there. No, that needs to go down there, doesn't it? I'm doing that. I need to put an equal thing on there. Thing. Flag. Okay. I think those are going in there. Those are going in. They're going in. Now, as always, what I've been starting to do is take this book because it's one that's fallen to bits and I don't have much left and just seeing if there's anything that I can use on the page that kind of brings things together. And the first thing is I'm going to put that in because I feel it brings this red in and ties it in a little better. I hope you can see how that's working. Um, I might put some little to-do things in, to-do dots, to-do bullets. Bullets is the word I'm looking for. Um, oh, I've got a today's plans. I might actually prefer that better, but it's not as red. Tweezers. Let's put a couple of these little to-do strings, things in. To-do... Doing there and here. I feel like one up here, but I got that, so maybe not. All right, I've just gotten out the Today's the Day book because I thought some of the colors kind of matched, specifically this little thing, but I'm loath to put one circle in. So there's that. It's not really the same red. Oh, we've got a red, red, red. We've got a red, red, red. Hang on. I do have a red, red, red. Yes. Do I want to put that in there? And then I'm going to have to put something red on the other side. Mm-hmm. I'm not feeling that. I'm just looking for something. I don't know what, but I'm looking for something. Yeah, I'm just gonna put that in. I just feel it needs some text on this side because this is kind of text heavy. I hope that makes sense. I, I just don't know anymore. Do I wanna bring in any bullets? If I did, it'd be here and here. 
maybe here. That just, I feel, I, oh, put straight. Just feel it adds a little bit of something to that top bit. Is that, is that straight? No, it still isn't straight. Still not convinced that's straight. Okay, I think that's better. It just looks weird from here, I think. It's the angle that I'm seeing it at. I put one dark green one. So in this book, they dot the little bullets everywhere. So you have to really kind of look, like there's like six there. There's a couple of little flags I could use. I don't want the triangles, I don't think. I could, I could do the triangles. Oh, I like that. Such a good day. Oh, I haven't put the moon sticker in. On the 27th, that might go in there. It is a new moon. So that, it's like made for that little bit. Perfect, and then Let's go in there. I have got that heart. If I brought that other one in, I've got some little hearts down there. We might be doing triangles for to-do lists. I'm just going to see if I want to. I might. Oh, have I used all the dark green? Of course I have. Okay, maybe we're not then. Because I only have those two. And we'll just put a checklist in. Nope, nope. Oh, that little bit goes in there. Perfect. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Stop stickering it to death. Okay, done. All right, that is my spread for the week of the 22nd in my vertical planner. And this again turns into kind of a journal partway through the week. I just add highlights, I add memories, I add any little things that I want to remember. And I love it. So as a reminder, these were the little 3D stickers from the Dollar Tree. And I have all of these left for another spread. So I can get another spread easily out of those. And this was from the quotes, 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 color story, today's the day, today's the day. And then printable stuff is from my Etsy store, which I will link in the description. All right, I hope you enjoyed this and you found one, I hope you found it as cute as I did, because I think this is adorable. I love the sloths. Sloth? Sloths? Sloths? Sly? Or whatever. I love the sloths. And yes, if you enjoyed this, then give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time, my planner pals. Bye! All right, so little known fact. I actually have four members of my family whose names begin with the letter S. And what I thought was I'm going to give them all names from the members of my family. So I've got Steve, Sue, or Susan, Samantha, and Simon. So this one is going to be Samantha. And that makes sense because it's kind of flying. She's kind of flying in the air. And my cousin Samantha is, um, she used to work for an airline. So that makes sense. I'm tempted for this one for Steve. This one's going to be Steve. Mm, where do I want to write Sue? Mm, let's put it at the bottom. Susan. Susan, that's my uncle. That's my cousin, cousin. So let's have the three cousins on the same page. And we'll put Simon. here and then I have one more beginning with S so 
they've all got S names, so we're going to have to have this one as an S name, which is going to be Sean. Let me know if you give your little things names. I tend to, but I don't normally write them on the pages, but I saw Mary Ellen do it from Panning Away Bumble, and I'm like, you know, that sounds like a good thing, so that I remember. So, yeah. All right, now I'm going.